<laughs> Get comfy. Is it comfy yet? <laughs> Good boy. Hey guys, welcome to Inside the Witch's Homestead. So we're going to start off with the front entrance. So we've got a rune dog standing right next to me. Um, but we've got our little hall stands and this is what happens when you enter the house. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to shut this door. Okay. So. So that's the front entrance as you enter the house. And in there is the master bedroom. I'll take you through. I just laid these floors. This is where the rest happens and we have an ensuite so this is where I get ready in the mornings it's still a mess so that's the ensuite if you can see it and then a rune dog's following me around. What's the matter, Rooney? What's going on? Say hi. Rooney Poo's your camouflage dog. So this is the bedroom altar, which I uh, will place workings on when I need to. Right now, because I just put the furniture back in, there's nothing on it. We just got Ganesha um, and the moon there and my favorite skull. Um, but we have the TV, that's my side, and that's Nicholas's side, and then we've got the walk-in wardrobe in here. I don't know if you guys want to see that, so I'm just going to continue through to the living room. So this is the front family living room as you walk into the house. big TV and that goes into the dining room as well so it's a nice sunny day outside and as you guys probably can see I've got the tree up, which all year round, it's just a tree, as you can see. I've got little acorns hanging from it. And I've got a little hooty owl in there. Hi, hooty. And then we've got some window hangings that, and some wards that are up the front. You can see hopefully <laughs> I'm still no good at this stuff while the light adjusts and then we've got this is our reading bookshelf so it's got all our favorite like authors all throughout here some bugs that are there lots of reading lots and lots of reading our favorite books we've culled it so much we used to have six of these shelves I'll show you one more. Hi. <laughs> um, so from the living room, if you can see, yep. You lead us in there, Rune. So then we have 
the game room. This was um, the boys' playroom, but now it's still a playroom, but it's the game room. But I also have my standing altar up there, the inside one, and my guitar uh, there. So all the stuff's out of reach up there. And then we have pictures of my family. So the boys know who their family is. That's my mum who's passed on and that's my nan who just recently passed. I don't know if you can see this glare. That's my nan and my uncle. And there I am blowing out my candles on my 10th birthday. I'm already like all gossed out. <laughs> so that's uh, my family. And then we have more of my family. So this is my ancestors up up that way. So my gypsy heritage all the way down to my mum and dad's wedding. And then we have Nick's side of the family with his great grandparents and his parents and all the way down to his mum and dad. Um, so we thought it would be really nice for the boys to really know because some of these people aren't here with us anymore. And then we have my mum and dad, my mum and dad and my sister, um, Nick's mum and his uncle. This is, this is, oh, excuse the nail polish, so need a manicure. Um, so this is my dad, my mum, me and my sister, shortly after we arrived in Australia. My sister doesn't look too happy, does she? Um, <laughs> so we have, all the rest of the family photos and then the bomb site that is their games and I shouldn't say that because I play here too but um, we've got the Xbox old school Xbox and a PS4 for them and their big TV and this is the boys room so excuse the lighting I'm sh if you guys have watched the Crimson Fire or you know, I subscribe to my Crimson Fire page, you'll see that the boys and I did this room up earlier this year. So Nick, the boys and I did this room up earlier this year. So they have bunks. They love bunks. This is their collection of old school. Oh, that lighting's really bad. Old school comics. They have all their comics and their magazines and it's 3.03 p.m. So I'm doing this just before they get home, otherwise it'll be pandemonium. Um, and then we have their chalkboards with their chores on it and their to-dos. And I don't know if you can, we're a big Star Wars family. Oh, so Lego, Roblox, all Marvel, some DC and Fortnite is what's happening in this house and lots of dinosaurs if you could probably say they love their dinosaurs so moving back through the living room i hope i'm not making you sick and dizzy and all the things because <laughs> i'm still not good at this so moving through there are our favorite dvds in here Well, if I, oh, well, I should say that, but then if we go down here, we've got vinyls on both sides and then more collectible DVDs, CDs, and the rest of it there. And there's a ring. Ringy, what you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and so just some wards and things that I've created um, for each member of the family. We've got some Hecate key, a Hecate key here, and decorations, decorations. And then as we head into here, we've got Nick and I's wedding pictures. So that's us up there, and that's us here. And we had our photography shoot at the cemetery, because that's a thing. <laughs> and then we come to my bookcase so there's a lot in here um, this is the dining room but 
but I like to sit at the table and um, I'm a collector of old texts and volumes, if you can see. And then we have lots of things. Now I keep the boys' uh, favorite stuffed animals. They've outgrown them now. Although Thorn has Mr. Snuggy Bunny now. But Mr. Teddy, which he aptly named because it's a teddy, um, was a bit worse for wear. And this is Ellie. That was Brayden's Ellie. And uh, just a spell book over there. And then we have all manner of reference books and things that I need to hand every now and then. And then we go down to more of those all the way down to my DIY stuff, my gardening stuff, my mythology stuff, um, natural magic. Hi, you just want to be on the camera. So this sits in the dining room and if you can see I really love uh, reclaimed art so most of the things that you'll see have come from thrift stores, op shops or I've made myself. Lighting is terrible again because it's so sunny out. Should have probably drawn blinds. Okay. So these are art pieces that Nick has done. The stag or oh, raven. So it's raven stag. This is the homestead here. We've got our stag up there and some art and uh, my dragon. This is my, it actually holds my dragon sword, but the dragon sword's in the witch's cottage at the moment because I use it for rituals. So if I zoom out of here, so this is the table where we have our family meals and then we've got our notice board and we head into the kitchen. So I wallpapered, laid all the floors, wallpapered the walls, Laid all the floors, chose all the colours, painted the walls myself. I love the texture of this wallpaper. Um, and then we have our nook, and our nook keeps our cookbooks. Some decorations up there. Um, this is where I charge my drill battery. Yes, because it's that important. Um, I, I use it all the time, so I need a battery charge at all times. Then we've got, hey Alexa. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> um, and then we've got um, platters and cake tins and all manner of things down here. And I'm sure everyone has a bits and bobs drawer. That would be this one here with batteries and, you know, ties, but they're all put into their individual little places because otherwise I'd go insane. So then we go into the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Um, now excuse the state of my cupboards. But this is the pantry. If you have a look in the pantry. So that's the pantry. We have a lot of fresh food so we don't really keep a lot of packaged things. But that's where condiments are and things like that. So this is the kitchen. I'm, I'm defrosting a roast for tonight. Nick's parents are coming over, so there's going to be a lot of us. So I'm defrosting that for to make tonight's dinner. Um, and that is some stew on the stove from last night. So this is the stove and the oven and the coffee and tea station in there. Some shelf with some things here. One of my favorite quotes, greatness can only be accomplished with passion. Now you can see a little bit of outside now. You can see my hanging herbs and rosemary out there under the veranda. So this is the bench top and excuse the dirty dishes in the sink. Um, all of this was a white kitchen when we got the house. It was falling apart. So I just replaced all the cabinets and I laminated the original drawers and on all of them I just put handles. Uh, so that was fun and everything is an altar to me so even the windowsills are altars 
So you can see, like, you know, I've got a little sensor cauldron and all my crystals and um, the little witch. And I rigged this light up here because there was not enough light for um, doing the dishes. So we do have a dishwasher, but I try not to use it at all. Hand washing for me is actually very relaxing. <laughs> Um, so our toaster is up here and if I turn around you'll see this is a buffet cabinet and I just put a kitchen bench top on it um, just a natural wood bench top this used to be an altar back in our really large house um, but now it's a kitchen island which I love I love repurposing and reusing things so excuse the mess you can see my my water I love this this is my unicorn cup So, oh, a little compost basket which goes out there into the compost every evening. That's just some of today's. We've got some cleaning spray, which should probably go in the bottom down here, in the cupboard. <laughs> I should probably show you. I don't know whether people do this. Do they do you show cupboards and things? This is where all the pots and pans are. Just in case you come over one day and you need to, you know, make some stuff. So... <laughs> All our mugs, the earthenware mugs, the Magical Cauldron Magic School, which was a school I used to run a few years ago. And, you know, the standard cutlery drawer. There's all these drawers are filled with utensils and cutlery, but they're all organized. Otherwise, again, I would go insane. Um, so I have two chopping boards because Nick and I cook together. So it's better to not fight over a chopping board. This is where all our two hand plates and bowls are. And then we have um, all our kitchen um, papers and foils and, and all the things we need in these drills to hand. So it's just easy to do. So my favorite cookbooks are here they're about to go on rotation again because it's spring has just started so already fresh has come out but um, the winter one has to be put up up there with the other guys soon and as I said every surface is an altar so here I've got some pomegranate offering uh, I also have shells and we have some lizard skin uh, we've got rose resin mortar and pestle and lots of oils that I infuse and burn. This is the juicing station. So the juicer comes out here and it's easier to just, um, because it's so tall. So it's easier to juice on a shorter surface than it is on the big surface. So this is the extended part of the kitchen. Oh, actually, I'll show you this. So this was the original pantry, but as you can see, this is where all the chopping boards and um, the Tupperware and container stay. But also I housed the microwave in here. So I drilled a hole to, to put in the cord. And so every time we use the microwave, we just leave the door open and use the microwave. And then it just doesn't take up bench space. So then it gets closed up. So I found this on, um, this little thing what is it it's a bench I guess and I think it was someone's um, tool shop bench but it didn't have a top so I got this the same top as I have on the other one and I drilled it in and now this is where I get to do a lot well actually a lot of stuff I do a lot of blending on here as well um, but a lot of cooking so it's awesome to have extra bench space if you look from this angle so this is the other hatch so over here is where we have the large pots down there the big ones where I make soup for like 50 billion people um, and stews and things and then we have some bits and bobs there that I use for workings um, our fridge was too large to go into the kitchen although this is the kitchen we just extended it out so I partitioned a space with a shelf 
which holds all our CDs by the way. These are three uh, too deep. So two up and two deep. We have a lot of music. We love music. And yes, we're old, so we have CDs. It's not digital. <laughs> um, and so we have the fridge. And one of my other favorite sayings, it's easy to, to stand with a crowd. It takes courage to stand alone. And then we've got some tarot card magnets, which we, and a Moulin Rouge magnet, and my favorite massive skull and crossbones magnet. That's our water dispenser for fresh water. So, um, what's in the fridge? Stuff. All the things. There you go. <laughs> and the kitchen is next to the laundry room. So this is your standard laundry room. We do, this was a solid door and I replaced it. I found this on a buy swap sell for free, this door. So I took it and I hung it and uh, made a fly wire screen for it back there. So now I can, every time, because we're a large family and I do a lot of laundry, it's great to actually see my garden, if you can see through here, to see everything out there and the cottage. But this is a standard laundry room. You know, you've got your washer and your dryer, and your vacuum and things like that. So, I hope I'm not missing anything. I'm terrible with show and tell. Um, this is all our big utensils. So like tongs and wooden spoons. And then we, we've got the spatulas and um, lots of other utensils in here up the top. And then it's all the baking stuff underneath. So cookie cutters and I love to bake. So this is the toilet, you can already see. <laughs> Um, so this is the toilet, nothing fancy, there it is, yay toilet. This is the family bathroom, because we're a large family there's had to be a lot of storage so I placed a lot of uh, storage things here. And if you can see, excuse the mess in the bathroom, my boys are boys. But as I said, every place is an altar. So even up here, <laughs> I've got stuff. So when I want to have a bath, um, I've got my little bath bombs um, and shells there because I like to put the shells in when I swim as well. Swim. Well, I pretend I'm swimming, but I'm in the bath. And this is all, you know, we've got stones, natural stones here and things like that. Stuff collected from uh, journeying, more shells and then loads more storage under there. Excuse the mess, as I said. So that's the bathroom. And then we have my dad's room, which is just where he hangs out. He's got his TV here and everything, um, and bought, you know, pictures of the boys, but he has the best view in my opinion, because <laughs> you can see out into the yard from here as well and listen to the birdies chirping it's such a sun-filled lovely room so I think that is pretty much everything I'm just gonna walk you from back here back up the front if you guys have any questions or comments let me know um, it's been really hard to get a chance to do a walkthrough without everyone being here and the noise and the crazy so back into the living room and back to where we started so next week we're going to do a whole tour of the external of the witch's homestead it's too much to do in one video <laughs> so Rooney say we're sending you lots of love and many many blessings say bye <laughs>